Welcome everyone to our announcement. My name is Kyla, I'm the administrative assistant here. Just a quick note that everyone will be muted for the duration of this program. Should you have any questions, I will direct you to the question bar in your command screen. Now I'm going to hand over the reins to Kate Santos. Take it away, Kate. Good afternoon, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kate Santos and I'm the National Director for Doom and Orange North America. On behalf of our global organization, I am so excited to share with you our key industry partners, a sneak preview of a routing technology we will be unveiling at California Spring Trials later this week called Basewell. Basewell technology is a culmination of years of research and is the epitome of cross-functional team advancements having involved individuals from multiple facets of our organization ranging from research and development, innovations, IPT, supply chain, logistics, IT, sales, to name a few. This new product form, Basewell, Bare Root Cuttings, features advanced root development and no growing media. This allows Basewell product to ship to growers from offshore production locations, ready to transplant directly into a finished container. This technology delivers multiple benefits to the grower. First and foremost, it simplifies processes. The bare root cutting form allows the grower to order rooted product directly from the production farm, decreasing order lead time and maximizing flexibility in program planning. It also focuses on being able to optimize space. The grower receives a product that is ready to transplant directly into the finished container consequently enabling them to have more production term, turns that can be completed and expensive propagation space can be converted into profit generating finished production space. Third is on the labor saving. Uh, Basewell is available in two configurations including full contiguous strips and individual cells making them compatible with automated sticking machines as well as individual solution for uh, non-automated production where workers can quickly transplant the product by hand into finished containers. The next phase for the product is uh, we really want to take advantage of the production season that is still ongoing and to enable growers to have the opportunity to trial this product in their production greenhouses. So we wanted to make trials available as quickly as possible to get out uh, to the market as an opportunity to take a look at this product. So uh, product or trials will be available week 17 and 18, and they will be available on a first come and first serve basis. We are trying to limit that to one trial per customer to enable the maximum number of people to have the opportunity to take a look at the product. These trials will be free of charge. Uh, we will have a total of 240 kits available across week 17 and 18. Uh, four varieties will be included in the trial kits, each variety having 51 base well cuttings per that variety. And the varieties that will be included in this trial are Calibrocoa Bloomtastic Rose Quartz, Impatience and Standing Apollo Purple, Dahlia XXL Veracruz, and Coleus Main Street Ruby Road. If, uh, if you're interested in booking the trials, uh, brokers can reserve trials through uh, any of our Dumont Orange sales manager. Uh, we will also have a website that will go live tomorrow called basewell.dumanorange.com that has a trial request form on that site. And you're more than welcome to also fill out a trial request form there, which will go directly to our, our offices to, to be able to help facilitate in book. We will have resources readily available to provide more information about this product form and particularly to help guide growers through the technical aspects of um, using this product. So the website, as I mentioned, will be basewell.dumanorange.com. There will be a technical guide available there as well, and as I mentioned, the trial sheet. Just to reiterate, um, we won't be able to accommodate a ton of questions here today, and um, so we want to make sure that uh, our, or reiterate that our team is available to answer any additional questions you may have about the product and next steps. Uh, so this just to reiterate within your region who, um, who from our team is uh, most uh, appropriate to reach out to and ask questions. We're still at the, uh, the early stages of this new product innovation and development and so we are still getting a few of the, uh, the details ironed out and worked out so just to identify some of the things that we are still finalizing. 
On the assortment side, uh, we anticipate that the program will launch commercially with annuals to begin with, and that will be on our spring 2019 program. This will likely come out and be published after our core annual program comes out sometime in May. Uh, the, act, the existing varieties or specific varieties that will be included in the annual base well cutting program is still pending. Also, the particulars around the, the structure of the ordering um, details are still being finalized. So we do not currently know at this time what the minimums are going to be, where the pricing is going to sit, and how the product will be packaged. Um, one thing to reiterate, though, is that we will have two product forms available to maximize the, the versatility and application of the product for growers who are either using automation or have um, or, or choose to manually transplant. So there will be two product forms, the individual uh, cutting as well as the, the contiguous strip of 51 in, uh, available. So um, with that, as I mentioned, we will be launching or showing this in uh, person at CAS. For, so for those of you who uh, will be out in California uh, this next week, we would love to talk through this with you in more detail. Uh, for those of you who won't, uh, of course, our team is, is here and available to answer any questions you may have. Um, I will uh, just open this up to see if there's any um, questions. So with regards to, let's see. Um, one question is, how old is the product from URC? That is dependent on the variety, so essentially the developmental time is tied to the de development of the root initiation. Uh, the question is, what is the lead time for orders? That is still pending. We expect it will fall or anticipate it will fall between a URC and an, an RC, but uh, we're still finalizing exactly what that timeline will be. Uh, with regards to order changes, that will also align and be published later, probably in May, June timeframe on what the overall ordering uh, process and protocol will entail. So more to come on that. How is the shelf life when it gets to the grower? Uh, the main uh, piece of information or, or recommendation we have at this time is to, uh, you know, to try to transplant as quickly as you receive it. Um, for those who aren't able to do it uh, at, you know, as soon as possible, we do recommend putting it into a, uh, to keep the cuttings fresh, to put them into a cooler storage until they're ready to be transplanted. And uh, have we done some grower trials already? Yes, we have um, strategically done some trials at uh, closed sites uh, across the uh, U.S. and Canada to assess the, uh, the, the product. And so this is the first phase of trial results have been positive. And uh, we do hope and uh, expect to get uh, further information and feedback from the next 240 trial kits that we'd like to get out in 1718 to give us even more information and data on how the product performs. Uh, the question on cost, like I said, that is still pending. Uh, where will the product be produced? Right now, we are anticipating that it will be out of El Salvador to start with the annual program. Uh, it is still pending if there will be additional farms that will be added to that list. Uh, do you foresee issues with the Q37? At this time, no. We are in conversations with the USDA, and that has not at this time been uh, raised as a, a concern. Is the product that holds the cutting biodegradable? Yes, it is. It should degrade within 10 to 12 weeks of transplant into the container. Does this work with existing machinery for transplanting, or will this be new tech? This does adapt to the uh, auto stick spacer machine uh, with the contiguous strips, and it is also uh, can be used with the ISO machine for the individual cuttings. Uh, other machinery and ad adaptations we will, of course, be looking at and exploring. And will there be multiple shipments per week like with URC? That is highly or, or a good probability that that will be the case. Um, again, the final details and how that will be structured is still pending. What are some of the direct benefits for the growers? So with regards to direct benefits for the growers, it, uh, it really depends on uh, whether you're looking at it as a, you know, a propagation replacement. So for a grower that's typically getting in URC and gets this product in, it enables them to be able to transplant it directly into a finished container. So there's labor savings, space utilization savings, uh, your, your overall production time is shorter, so you're getting more production turns. Do you expect any delays in the development of the roots after sticking since some of the roots are out of the plastic container? 
this time what we've seen in transplant of the product into a finished container is the time to finish this product in comparison to a rooted liner is comparable. So we have not seen significant delays or impacts, but we do recommend and do uh, uh, yeah, ultimately recommend that you do need to be careful with the roots when you are transplanting and that you don't want to, uh, be, or you do want to be cautious with not breaking the roots. Is this a hydroponic rooting process or are you rooting in media then washing the cuttings prior to ship? The cuttings are not rooted in any substrates during the proprietary process. So they are um, bare root from start to finish. Do you ship loose so they can be used on an ISO machine? Yes, that will be one of the two product forms available will be either loose or the contiguous strip. So we will make sure to be very clear when we publish the program on how to order and make sure your orders are differentiated between the two products. Geraniums are currently in trial now. In terms of transplanting uh, depth, that is uh, that will be available. A lot of the technical questions with regards to transplant is are available in the uh, the technical guide, but it would be comparable to the transplant of a liner, so to approximately the top of the uh, strip. I think that's it for the questions that I've seen roll through. Uh, I'm sure that uh, there will be more questions that you come up with or think of, and uh, as to reiterate, our team is here to answer any questions you may have, so please don't hesitate to reach out to one of our sales members or somebody else in our team, and uh, we'll be more than happy to answer your questions. As I said, uh, this will be live and in person to see and cast, and uh, a team available to be able to walk you through in more detail any questions you may have by that time. So uh, without further ado, again, I really want to thank you all for your time today. Uh, really appreciate your interest in this new product that we have, and we look forward to your feedback as you get a chance to take a look at this and trial it in your own greenhouses or production environment. Thank you so much, Kate, and thank you everyone for joining us today. Once again, any further questions, I would highly recommend reaching out to your regional sales manager or emailing the Basewell email that Kate had up on the screen earlier. Kate, would you mind going back to that for anyone who would like to write that down? All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. This will conclude the webinar and announcement and have a wonderful rest of the day. Mm -hmm.